Yes. <laughs> Dr. Mindy in the house. All right. <laughs> I appreciate that. The carnivore diet. Because of the heat. Honestly, you've really touched my heart. You know, and I was joking the other day, I'm not joking, I mean, I'm telling the truth, but I joke when I say it, is that I was on a, I was doing a webinar and I was saying how, you know, women biologically are built, are made, created to have the babies, whether you have babies or not, I didn't have a baby, you know, like, but my, I know my body is constantly surveying, like, is it safe enough for a baby? Is it safe enough for a baby? And then for the women who did have the babies, right, you have the babies, and then as you get older, you would think... You would think that biology would go, congratulations, thank you for all your service. <laughs> We're going to make you svelte. We're going to give you all this energy. We're going to make your hair long and luscious. We're going to give you the sex drive of a 16-year-old. It's going to be amazing. And instead, it's like, thank you for your service. Here's perimenopause. Yes. Like, what? <laughs> yes. I actually and so, I actually we lose think, the so we, then we lose it. And do we ever get it back? So I have this core group of w women. So as women are in perimenopause, because the brain is constantly yelling at the ovaries, make a hormone, do something. There's a temporary time where the group of cells that make testosterone, they're called theca cells. They get thick. And when they get thick, they do kind of like temporarily pump out more androgens. So there's this crazy weird time in perimenopause where women do get more testosterone and then it kind of falls off because you're losing these cells, you're losing these theca cells. And, and then once they hit menopause, they, they don't really get it back because you've lost the ovarian, the 20 to 25% part out of the ovaries. And now you're just relying on your excess tissue all around you and your, and your ovaries to make up the slack. So you never make it up necessarily 100%. I definitely have women that maintain libido and maintain all these things to a decent degree and but majority of women are like yeah that left a long time ago i don't i don't have that anymore i would like more of that yes so as women are shutting down their ovaries if they're not functioning that well we lose 20 to 25 percent of our testosterone and then moving to our adrenal glands if we're not doing so hot in the stress response and uh, we're starting to bottom out and burn out not only does it affect our cortisol but it affects our androgen production as we call it our testosterone